Our next guest is a member of the cast of Saturday Night Live. You know him as Dieter and also as Wayne Campbell of Wayne's World. Take a look at him now as Wayne playing guitar with Aerosmith. Here's... Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Mike Myers. Oh, Mike! Congratulations on another great year. You're all finished for the summer. That's right, yeah. We uh, ended about four weeks ago. All right. And uh, you have plans for the summer? Um, yeah, I'm uh, going to do a show with a friend of mine. We're going to do a stage show. Uh, and then I'm going to go to Toronto and hang out and see my folks and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's good. And, and what have you been doing since the last time we saw you? I guess, of course, you were obviously you were working upstairs. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, I got promoted, which oh. was nice. Oh, well, now what does that mean? Uh, I was a, a featured player, uh -huh. which means they showed that little uh, photograph uh -huh. at the end of the montage. Yeah. And then I got put into the montage. Oh, congratulations. So, oh, thanks. But you know... <laughs> to me, and I guess it's just kind of the, the trick of words, featured player almost sounds like a bigger deal. Yeah, well... But it wasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm real happy. I, it was something I, you know, I wanted to do, be on the show since I was 11. Uh -huh. So I was really since happy. Since you were 11? Yeah. yeah. How old are you now? I turned 27 May 25th. Wow, well, good for you. Oh, and did you celebrate the birthday? Yes, I did. Big, I, uh, big time? Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah. Uh, what happened was uh, my best friend, Dave McKenzie. Hi, Dave. Uh, from Canada came down. McKenzie's actually his name, too, mm -hmm. and he is from Canada. Yeah. And... Um, uh, the people who do the limos for the show, nice guy limos, uh, mm -hmm. Howard, uh, gave me a free uh, stretch limo, so I mentioned his name. And <laughs> that was transparent, wasn't it? Cool. So anyway, so, so that was neat, and uh, my friend works in a bank, and, and you know, uh, and his whole thing is, oh, geez, Myers, geez, Myers, you've changed, you've changed. But I didn't tell him about the limo, so yeah. I said, well, I think we'll go around New York for, you know, for a bit. So I got up really early, and I got uh, $200 in ones out yeah. from the bank. Wow. And uh, I sort of woke up and said, hey, let's go see New York! <laughs> and there's a limo waiting down, and I had, like, every time I'd say, hey, do you like my haircut, Dave? And he'd go, yeah. I'd say, here, here, get yourself something pretty, you know? <laughs> and I'd pump him a few, uh, you know... About twenty dollars. No, not really. You look great. You look wonderful. What do you mean I've changed? So we uh, we went all around uh, New York. We went to the USS Intrepid. We went to Statue of Liberty, uh, and it was uh, just uh, it was a lot of fun. Then we played softball with you guys. Oh, that's right. That was yeah. a couple of weeks ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that was a and, lot of fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you didn't think it was a lot of fun? Oh no, it was fun. I'm, I'm just I'm I shouldn't play. I'm very bad. I get really keyed up. I have. <laughs> A really bad swing. I yeah. look, so you know how like some people look like girls when they throw balls. Yeah. Yeah, I just I look bad when I bat. So. No, it's I mean, but see, nobody really is any good, and and that's sort of the fun of it. Yeah, except yeah. that people kept telling me how stupid I look, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's where it changed. Well, it became, it became like the, the thing of it. it. Was how bad Myers was. <laughs> well, let's play again then. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean they're like a dirty shirt. You know, uh, like. And so, so now you're off doing concert work. Is that what you talked about earlier? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Dana Carvey on the show. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, go and do some some shows. Now that's here a pretty good show, I would think. That would be great fun to see. Oh, it's a lot of fun yeah. to do. Yeah, Dana's great. Uh, I'm sort of his backup band, mm -hmm. and then Dana comes out, and uh, it was it's been really interesting, sort of going to see parts of America I'd never been to, staying in different types of hotels, you know, alternately, like palaces or the Bates Motel, you yeah. know, it's just <laughs> nowhere in between. And one time, uh, uh, the, this guy named Vern who was on the front desk, who uh, hails from the Philippines, mm -hmm. uh, took an instant dislike to me. Uh -huh. And uh, I came in and I said, uh, I was really tired, and I said, look, uh, how much are the sweets? And he said, oh, they're very expensive. <laughs> I said, no, no, how much is it? Oh, I think they're just a beyond your can. <laughs> he wouldn't tell me how much they were. Be so I Beyond got your can. Is can. That can. Yeah, and he just he kept being uh, elusive, and I got insulted, so I talked to the manager, and, and they gave me a... a a suite for the normal price of a room because he was so rude yeah. to me. Well, that's but good. Vern wouldn't let up on me. He just hated me. So I phoned down and I wanted to get a robe. And I said, are there, are there any robes? He went, no. <laughs> I said, there's got to be robes there. Uh, yeah, we have robes, but not for you. <laughs> Everything they had, but not for you. I was like, sure we got robes. We got a whole warehouse back there. We up to here with robes, but not for you. We're lousy with robes. Now get out. He just hated it. That's awful. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, Vern. Vern. I didn't realize that was a Philippines name. 
Um, I think it's his nickname, frankly. I don't know. Uh, and now, now, what about your folks? Are they still uh, up in Canada? Yep. Still, yeah. Now, they must yeah. be very proud of your success. Very proud, yeah. yeah. Oh, Although good. my mom is very critical, because my mom studied to be an actress, and uh, whenever I do anything where I play a character that frowns, she gets upset. When you play a character that, that frowns? Frowns. 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 Because she, uh, she always says, oh, eyes and teeth. <laughs> She's English. She's a vaudeville sort of musical. So the idea is to smile and show your Always, eyes. Yeah. yeah, and play the exit lights. Uh -huh. And uh, she th thinks John Davidson. Oh, you've got the half of John Davidson. <laughs> and she thinks I should be more like John Davidson, which is kind of pathetic. <laughs> but and she understands that you're working in television, well, right? Well, yeah, and I'll say, you know, I'm, I like John Davidson, but I don't know if I want to be John Davidson. Yeah. She said, and her retort always, whenever I don't like somebody, is, well, he makes more money than you. <laughs> You know, you can't argue with that. Yes, he does. What does that mean? You know? Put her together with Vern. Well, uh, absolutely. Well, listen, uh, congratulations oh, on your thanks. birthday. Congra uh, congratulations on the promotion, and, and have a terrific oh, summer. thank you very much. Nice to thanks. see you again, Mike. Mike uh, Myers, kids. We'll be right back here. His documentary, Supermensch, The Legend of Shep Gordon. Paul and I enjoy The Legend of Shep Gordon. Fan fantastic Fantastic. Movie. And you can see that uh, piece of work. It's available on Netflix, instant, uh, April 10th. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the always entertaining Mike Myers. Mike, come on. <laughs> We had Shep Gordon on the show. Oh, right, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and terrific guy, and the kind of guy where uh, five, ten minutes really won't get it done. You want to spend several days just being around the guy and talking with the guy. So Paul and I uh, invited him uh, out to dinner, and we never heard back. Really? Yeah. But he was, I'm he gave me a, sorry. He gave me a, a lovely ukulele. Did he? Yeah, very yeah. nice. No, he's, uh, Shep Gordon is, he was Alice Cooper's, still is Alice Cooper's manager. Yeah, and a great guy. And literally is the nicest human mm -hmm. being I've ever met in my right. life. And, and went, went through a very rowdy period of show business, yes. rock and roll, he's, successfully. Yeah, he's, a, he's an ethical hedonist. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is a show business god. And he's been sort of a de facto show business dad for me. Good. But I'm not here to talk about him. I'm here to talk about you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> And I oh, know please. you hate this. I know you hate it. Too bad. I am here today. I am here today, Mr. David Letterman, and I know you do not like this, because uh, I just want to say thank you so much. You're quite you, welcome. You are fantastic. You're very generous. Oh, my God. You've been very kind to us over oh, the years. Oh, my God. Thank I, you. I've been on this show. I've been on this show 29 times. Wow. For 25 years. That's pretty good. And I just want to say, because I know you're going to try and change the subject, and <laughs> Tufsky Krapsky, as we say in Canada. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. I just want to say that this, being on this show, is, is like one of the highlights of my career. Really? No, yes. There's three times that I've heard my name back to me. One time was when Lauren Michaels called and said, are you Mike Myers? <laughs> I said, yes. Would you like to be on Saturday Night Live? Mm. I went, wow. Well, yeah. that's, that's a life That was a big call. one. Yep. The other one was when Don Pardo went, Mike Myers. Ah. The and then in 1990, when I came on the show, and you said, our next guest is Mike Myers. Wow. Well, so, thank you very much. That's, you're very kind. But I, I'm not, I ain't done yet. No, I'm just getting warmed up. No, you're not. You're I done. am. No. The thing is that this show has been consistently cool and hip for all oh, these years. Oh, oh. And this is, honest to God, as somebody that toils in the field of comedy, I just want to just, just say thank you. 
what an amazing beacon of light, what an amazing American icon you are. Oh, and, and just, oh my God. just seriously, Paul. I, I agree. Oh, no, no. Who you are. Thank you. In fact, no, that's very sweet. No, I'm, I'm not Michael. done yet. Oh, yes, my no, God. Yes. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, oh, come on. on top of that. Yeah. You're the most American human being I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> in fact, as a Canadian and an English Canadian person, sitting next to you, I feel ethnic. <laughs> you are that American. Thank you very much. Well, and, and you're very kind. No, and dude. It's, 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 you've been very kind to us over the years, and I, oh my God. I won't be able to repay your generosity. In fact, it's a highlight uh, so much. Yeah. Being on Saturday Night Live, I got the last letter that George Harrison ever wrote to any human being was sent to me. Wow. This, coming on the show, is still up there with all of that. Yeah, I'm not even kidding you. Oh, my God. You. This show that, is fantastic. The, the, letter, the last letter from George Harrison. Yes. Oh, my God. Now, let's... Uh, uh, I've, I've noticed over the years, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm... Uh, Paul Schaefer uh, has a, white, a lovely white snowflake in his lapel. Yes. And it's, it's... I believe it's the Order of Canada. It is the Order of Canada. It's and, the and highest honor that a nation can give somebody. Well, that's right. There it is right there. It's yes. beautiful. So Very proud. beautiful. Yeah, that's it. And, yes. uh, and congratulations, I, Paul. And congratulations. I would, I would very happy to wear it. I wear it proudly, like a medal, really, yes. because it is such a great honor. Yes. It is an honor. And you, don't, you uh, really have to distinguish yourself right. yes. and bring pride to your country yes, to you get do. one. And I, you know, I don't know if I deserve it, but I'm just happy. Oh, to. sure, oh, you, no, deserve you deserve it. it. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of deserving now, people I know, out there. Mike, I, I noticed. Know. You know. No, oh, I'm happy to have mine. Yes, I no, know I'm you're happy not for you, Dave. Happy tonight, for you, Mike. Is I love I'm not mine. wearing mine, Dave, because I don't have Wait a freaking what? order what? of Canada. How is Wait that possible? It's absolutely true. That's this fine. I can't believe. That's all right. I'm only 51, and my mom's ailing, but that's fine. You oh, know? My Let's go. <laughs> I'm does sure your, she'll hang on. Does your mother She's have 89. to be sick to get one? I don't know, but does uh. it hurt? Uh. She's 89 years young in her stocking feet, and she's a veteran of World War II. But, you know, yeah. my point is this. Well, you I'm just saying the RAF did sort of single-handedly take on Jerry all by themselves. But you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, oh. no. Well, Paul, it's fantastic. No, it's Thank you. I'm happy. You know, I, I, I might have a stamp and two I, streets I, named after me, but that's fine. You have a stamp. stamp. Well, yeah, a stamp, stamp in Canada. Yeah. Well, you have a stamp. Yeah, I, I have, a have a stamp. You don't have a stamp. I only have one no. street. I only yeah. have one street name. Yeah. Wait a minute. In Thunder you Bay, guys have right? streets yeah. and stamps. Yeah. He's got. He's got a. He's got an order of Canada. Lauren yeah. has one too. I have Lauren one. Lauren Michaels. Yes, I, yeah, I know. Yes, you the do. most American person in the world has an order of <laughs> Canada. Yeah, don't spread that around. Uh, I, uh, I told Lauren Michaels that I had it. a stamp. You'll get it. I'll make a call. You don't have to. This is not, Dave, this is not some cheap thing to try and get an order of Canada. Oh, Before my mother passes away, this is not no. that, dude. Now, That's I, I, sad. I want to tell you something. In, in all seriousness, uh, I had there's the, the the one in the lapel, sure, and then there's the more formal yes. uh, medal, which is Beautiful a, a medal. A, I've a seen ribbon. that online. Yeah, ri yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because Lauren wears it all the time. And and one weekend I was traveling, and I wore the ribbon version of it. And I came back and I said to Paul, Paul, I was so proud I was wearing the ribbon version of the Order of Canada. And Paul says, oh, you're not, you're not supposed to wear that. No, no. You're not, you didn't win it. I was, not just, lending it. I was just, just lending it. I was just lending it to me. Yeah. Just for your and, own and, personal and, and so, so you could look Must have been nice. I, yeah. bet, I bet it was a great feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we called the Canadian Embassy. Yes. And spoke to a, a lovely woman. I think she was the assistant ambassador or something. She was in the charge deputy of these, ambassador. Yeah, in charge yeah. of these arms. In charge of yes. giving out these awards. And she said that I shouldn't worry about it, that it was fine. Now, as a, as a Canadian, I'm going to say it's fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So if I can wear I'll, I'll give it to you. You know what? I would, I would love for you to be a Canadian citizen. You know, we have an opening now that Ted Cruz has left. So, <laughs> you know. Oh, he's if left, you, but he's you. not gone. We'll be right back with Mike Myers, everybody. Mike Myers, ladies and gentlemen. That, that stamp, that's very impressive. It is. That, now, that to me would be, I think that's fine. I think that, yeah. yeah, that's great. And it's... people get to lick it. Yes. <laughs> Mike, tell me about the, uh, we've heard stories from Paul and uh, other guests who were at the 40th anniversary yes. of the Saturday Night Live. A tremendous 
uh, part of the American culture and, and, and North American worldwide culture, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you were on the show for how many years? I was there for um, the standard six-year term, mm -hmm. uh, tour of duty. Yep. Uh, yeah, fantastic. SNL 40 was thrilling. I mean, uh, I didn't know I was invited. <laughs> I, I never got a, received a formal invitation, so I was watching the ads on TV on the Super Bowl. It would be like, you know, SNL 40, Jim Carrey, Ben Stiller, Mike Myers, mm. you know, it, and I was like, I, haven't, I wasn't invited. <laughs> so, so I wasn't many, sure until Lord, nobody had ever said, you come on out. They just put it on the TV no. and you're supposed to come? Like a week and a half before, Lauren called and said, um, Mike, uh, any chance of a Wayne's World? <laughs> I was like... Am I invited? Yeah. You're like, right. <laughs> of course you're invited. Yeah. I had no idea. So I wrote it up. I wrote it. And uh, then he's like, uh, there won't be a chance to rehearse. Is that OK? Wow. I've never done anything without a wow, rehearsal. This is like a three hour live show. I was scared. And I, I sat there. And, and it was like, you know, 10 seconds live. Dana and I had never rehearsed it. And I said to Dana, I said, I'm 51 with two kids and I'm wearing a wig. Am I an idiot? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, are we dead? Are we idiots? What are we doing? <laughs> and Dana, which is why he's, Dana Carvey is so fantastic, he just said, um, no, dude, we're just going to have fun. Yeah. And I was like, that's it. That's right. And we had fun. That's right. I that's forgot. interesting. You know what I mean? That's I'm right. Like, All right. Because both of those... I, I think those are the only two viewpoints you get in show business. Mm. You're either paralyzed with fear and yeah. self-esteem uh, problems, or you're just going to have a good time. Yeah, and that's what I love about Dana. You know, I went on tour with him. He was kind enough when I first got on Saturday Night Live, and he said, uh, hey, do you want to come on tour with me? And I didn't have an act, so I wrote it on the plane. <laughs> and uh, we did Wayne's World, and I had no idea that anybody had seen the show or seen Wayne's World. We got a lovely response, and we were playing 8,000 people places I'd Rings. never played because I was at Second yeah. City in Toronto and Chicago it was 300 400 people and it's a different thing when it's 8,000 people and Dana is such an amazingly calm first of all he's one of the greatest comedians ever I'm so honored to have worked with him but he's Very just good. a calm yeah. performer so he would say a line so we'd be like you know I think I'm gonna hurl or whatever <laughs> it would be the laugh line <laughs> and it would get like you know 10 seconds of laughter which was like fantastic and during that time Dana would say to me hey do you want to eat at the hotel? Do you want to go to a restaurant <laughs> on stage? And I'm like, don't talk to me, dude. We're on stage. <laughs> and it's like, and by the end the of the laugh tour, died down. Yeah, he was surfing the laugh. Wow. He's sitting there doing this. You know, I'm like, the calmest performer. I thought, that's right. This is supposed to be that. This is at the playtime. Sure. This is happy time. Yeah. Yeah. So he's one of the greatest influence, obviously. And. Just remembering to keep it silly. Do you, you know? have any uh, uh, stories from, uh, have you been back to, like, Scotland or? Uh, I, I've been back to Scotland, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to compliment you more, and I don't, oh, I don't no. give a darn. But I, I was just saying to, to, to the fellers over here that, uh, <laughs> that my life for these 25 years has been one long Letterman story. Really? Because everything that happens, I go, oh, got to remember that for Letterman. You know what I mean? <laughs> And in fact, my family does, you know, it's like, well, that'd be a good Letterman story, Mike. And strangers come up to me, and I was in Scotland. A guy came up, and he was like, oh, me, uh, we get Letterman here. That's great. And I lived in America for a while, and uh, he's like, uh, you know, uh, I just think all the stories you have are fantastic. And, and then he was like, Mike, you promised me this. You'll talk to me later, right? I go, ah, not really. I'm just, <laughs> we're, we're just getting loaded in a bar together. That's about it. <laughs> uh, and he says, mate, you'll promise me this, though. I'm not just going to be another Letterman story, am I? <laughs> and I said, no. 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 What a lovely burr. That's yes. what it is. It is. Scottish burr. Just lovely. Uh, th this movie is uh, fascinating, and it recreates and brings back to life a very exciting part of musical show business, uh, rock and roll in the late 60s and 70s and beyond. It's called uh, Supermensch, uh, directed it, and will you be directing other projects? I'd like to, yeah. But I'm here because I love oh, him. Oh, God, please. I'm here because this is the last chance I get Super to Mench, be on the legend of Chef show. Gordon. It's available now on Netflix instant, uh, April 10th. God bless you, sir. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Mike Myers. You. You're more than kind. We'll be back with Nick Griffin, everybody.